Well, this is a cool looking hole in the wall bar, isn't it? Jacobi's German Beer Garden. Since 1904. I might have to go in for a Guinness here in a little bit. But I'm going to head this way first. Look at that. That's General Motors World Headquarters. That complex of buildings you see ahead of you with the round one in the middle. Among the most distinctive probably in the world. You can't miss them. I've seen pictures of them a million times. I'm excited to be this close to them. But anyway, I'm in uh, Detroit, Michigan. I'm downtown. I'm going to do a little exploring. But it uh, looks pretty awesome so far. General Motors World Headquarters. That is impressive, isn't it? If you appreciate architecture in any way, you love these buildings. You can't miss them. A Detroit Windsor Tunnel. Yeah. Bunch of people here on their way to Canada. Well, you are looking at the Detroit River, which empties out into Lake Erie. That is Canada. The skyline of Windsor, Ontario, right across the river. I'll give you a little pan around. You can see what I'm looking at, which is pretty awesome. Of course, GM's building and the rest of downtown. People on a boat having a good time. I wonder how it works. Because halfway across is Canada. I guess you have to stay on this half of the water. There's a buoy out there. I'm guessing maybe that marks the international lines. So that means that boat is in the US and that boat there must be in Canada. It just seems like you could take a speed boat and run across, jump off the boat and you're in Canada. Illegal immigrant. Anyway, yeah, here's another look at Windsor. I'm guessing a bunch of those bastard Canadians live there. I'm calling you out, Key Up. That's right. But anyway, I'm walking over to this GM building one more time because I want to see these murals here on the outside of the building. That's pretty nifty, isn't it? Yeah, I like that. All right, into the General Motors World Headquarters I go. Looks like it's just restaurants. Yeah. Oh yeah, looks like they're having some kind of... I don't know what's going on in here. It looks like a... Uh, a party of some sort. But one look up here. Nifty. Alright, I'm going to head back out. Now I've read a, a lot about the artwork that's all over Detroit. Here's a little example of it. I in particular. Well, we, we got some Marvel comics here, don't we? Spider-Man. Looks like we have Black Panther here. Captain America. Iron Man on down there. Yeah, pretty cool. And the best one is the Incredible Hulk. Would you get a laugh if I told you that Detroit Smash? Yeah, that's cool. That I'm uh, just outside a topless bar. Yeah, that's right. A gentleman's club. <laughs> Let's see what the name of it is. Oh, Legends. Gentleman's club. Pretty cool. I like that. Now this building is cool. It's right on the corner here. And uh, it looks like it's a bar, but it doesn't appear to be open today. Most likely because it's Sunday. But yeah, if I was to ever own a bar, it would be in a place like this. Give you a look at what I'm seeing. Pretty nice, huh? Couple of, looks like pigeons looking for food. Sorry, fellas, I don't have any. Yeah, look at that. 
Pretty sweet, huh? Park! <laughs> Look at all these people down here. People are everywhere. Give you a shot of the skyline. Really cool. The Broadway, Detroit. That's so cool. Very 70s looking, isn't it? <laughs> Looks like it's empty now. Rusting. But, uh, wow, that begs to be refurbished, doesn't it? All right, well, I just stumbled upon this. It's an alleyway that's been converted into dining, bars, that kind of thing. Huh. Now look at that. I'm, sure, I'm assuming that's open. Probably a bar. How cool is this place? But it looks awesome at night with these lights. Wow. This is impressive. Yeah, it's just an alley that they've, uh, somebody here in the city has developed. Hmm. Two restaurants, bars. So cool. Yeah, there's one open right there. The skip. Lots of people having a good time. It's a nice day here in Detroit. Mid 60s, sunny, a little windy. You've probably heard the wind a couple times. Huh. Boy, somebody's cooking up a storm in there. It's pretty awesome. I want to see the, this up here. Yeah, I'm guessing this must be the entrance, huh? How cool is that, huh? Next to a coffee shop. I don't drink coffee. <laughs> I don't know why, I just never did. Across the street there, there's another alley with restaurants, etc. This is just an alley. There's some trash, but it's not that bad. Overall, so far, this city has been very clean. I'm surprised. Detroit is much maligned, and it has been in decline for many years. But I understand it's coming back up a little. That being said, we'll know more when I go outside downtown tomorrow. Wurlitzer building. How long do you think that's been there? Long time, I would guess. Yeah. Still in this alley. I'm gonna head out now, though. Party bus over there. There's a lot of those down here. I saw three or four driving through here. Honestly, it looks fun. <laughs> Fox Theater right here. And it looks like another pedestrian walkway. Right here. Little Caesars World Headquarters. Bet you didn't know it was in Detroit. Yep. The World Headquarters of cheap pizza. But when you are broke like I am often, yeah, I'll have some Little Caesars. <laughs> and then the Fillmore next to it. And then there's this cool Huntington building. I like that. Scan around this way and... Yeah, Comerica Park. This is where the uh, Tigers 
play. Look at these cool tigers at the entrance. That is fantastic. And if you look at the tigers on the wall, they have baseballs in their mouth. You see that? It's fantastic. I'll pan around and give you a look at what I see. We're from where I'm standing. It's pretty awesome. You can hear some seagulls. The uh, river is just uh, over this way, a couple blocks. Anyway, how cool, huh? Closer look at one of these tigers. Baseball in his mouth. I'm still over here. Got a big tiger here. Guarding this entranceway. A couple of them. They definitely have a don't you mess with us look on their face, don't they? The lighting stack. And let's swing around. What do I see over here? Nice, huh? Mainly wanted to look at this building here, though. I'm going to zoom in on it. That is fantastic. Yeah, this is the Wayne County building. Look at that stuff on the top. That is incredible. Huh. It's beautiful. All right, that's it for downtown. Tomorrow, I will be going to a different part of Detroit, and I promise you, it will be interesting. All right, today I'm uh, in a very different neighborhood from downtown Detroit. And so I'm going to uh, explore a little bit in this area, one of the most dangerous areas in the United States. But it's early in the morning, so uh, it's pretty quiet right now. Wow, look at this beautiful, well-kept house. Things are gonna change really quickly. Stay with me.
Okay, well, I think I've seen enough. Yeah, it's pretty rough. Um, downtown Detroit is beautiful, but let's not kid ourselves. You get outside of downtown, there's miles and miles of this. So the city's got a long ways to go. Anyway, I'm going to end it here, pick up the wife, and we're going to go to the Henry Ford Museum. There is some amazing stuff in there that we got to see. So stay tuned for that. We are at the Henry Ford Museum of American Innovation. Lots of cool stuff in here. There's the wife. We're going to head in now. All right, we are walking into the museum now. Yeah, it looks like it's got all kinds of cool stuff. Which direction do you want to go? Ooh, I don't know. Should we turn right? Yeah. We'll go this way. Right off the bat, we have Reagan's armored Cadillac. That day he got shot and they shoved him into his car. This is it right here. So this is Kennedy's car. This is the very car he was riding in when he got shot. Yeah, it's got a removable top. This is the 1831 DeWitt Clinton. Believe it or not, it pulled buggies, the kind that horses usually pull. And this is how people got around. I'm not gonna lie, I had never seen this before. How about that? This is an 1858 wood burning locomotive. This particular one hauled the president of the United States. Will you look at this? This is a Canadian snow plow. Yes, they plowed snow off tracks. I have to admit, I've never seen one of these. <laughs> a 1956 Lincoln Continental. At $10,000, this was the most expensive American car on the road that year. It's a beauty. This is a 1914 Detroit Model 47. Believe it or not, this car is electric. This is the car that Henry Ford's wife drove. A 1983 Honda Accord. Yeah, I had a friend who had one of these. This is the 1900 Wood. It was a truck. And it was electric. I looked at it initially thinking it would probably be horse pulled, but it is not. That is an electric truck built in 1900. This is the 1903 Wright Flyer, the plane the Wright brothers flew in. First controlled flight. Yeah, an old school McDonald's sign. Fifteen cents for a burger. This is George Washington's actual camp bed from 1775 and this is his camp chest from 1783 this is a drawing of President Washington George Washington drawn by a schoolgirl in 1800 Apparently they don't have her name. 
This is an advertisement for old fashioned molasses from the year 1900. This is the actual chair that Lincoln was sitting in when he was assassinated. That's unreal. Incredible. This is a KKK hood and robe from 1925. This is the actual bus that Rosa Park was riding in when she was asked to move out of her seat. I'm gonna go inside and sit in her seat here in just a second. So I'm inside the bus now. This is the actual seat right here, right? Yes, it is. Where Rosa Park sat. Correct. That's amazing, isn't it? That it's still here. 1950s TV, 1960s TV, and a TV from 1970. The Oscar Mayer Wienermobile. I'm pretty sure when I was a kid, I had a toy one of these. Yeah, but here's one of the actual ones. In the museum. 1952 Wiener Mobile. Well, that museum was amazing. I just showed you a little bit of it, but uh, if you're ever in Detroit, highly recommend. Anyway, we are heading to Chicago in the morning. So be looking for that video.